In this video, I'd like to talk about function inputs and outputs, specifically focusing on graphs. So we have this question asking, what is the input value other than zero for which f of x is negative two? So we're told that the function is equal to minus two, but notice we don't know the x value. And ultimately the x value is what we're trying to find here. Now, you might be used to seeing problems where you might have f of 3, where the inside is actually replaced by a number. So if you see this, this is essentially the opposite question to this pink one here. So this green one basically says, given x equals 3. So when you're given the inside, that is the inside value. That's our independent variable on this horizontal axis here, this x-axis. So like this, this is telling us given that x equals 3, we need to figure out what y is equal to. Or in other words, what our function is equal to. Because remember that y and your function value are interchangeable. They're the same thing. Your function value is your y value. So this axis here, this y axis, could also be thought of as the f of x axis. So you can see that right here, this blue curve is the y value of our function at different x values. So when x is given on the inside, we're looking for the y value. So this green question here, f of three, that would be given x equals three, we go up to our curve and that tells us that y would be three. So the answer to this is that the y value is three for this green question here. Now back to our question, this is, like I said, essentially the opposite. So let me just rewrite it over here. When you have f of x equal to something, this is basically given our y value. Or in other words, we are given the y value. In this case, y is negative two. And we need to find the x value that gives us this y value. So it's the opposite process. We're gonna go to a y value of negative two so let's find y is negative two. And basically I just draw a dashed line all the way across. So this is all the dashed line, y is negative two. It's just a horizontal line here. And we got to figure out where the blue curve actually crosses that. And it looks like right there and right there. Since we're trying to find the x values, which when you put them inside the function, give us this y value of negative two. Now it looks like when x is zero or negative three, then our function or our y value is negative two. So it's true that f of zero is minus two. When you plug in zero on the blue curve, you get an, a y value of negative two. And it's also true when you plug in negative three inside your function, you get a y value on this blue curve of negative two as well. So zero and negative three are both the x values which give us a function value of negative two. Now with this question, they asked us the input value other than zero. So this is not the one that we're looking for, we're looking for this one. So when x is minus three, when you plug that into the function, you do get back a function value of negative two. So with that in mind, let's do several more of these just to get the hang of it. And in pretty much all of these questions, they're gonna be asking for the input values or the X values, whereas the output values are the Y values. So we need to find all input values for which the function is equal to three. And since we know that the Y value and the function value are the same, and we're told that the function is three, this basically means that given y is equal to three, we need to find the x value. So if our y value is three, which x value can you plug into the function to give you back a function value of positive three? So I'm gonna find a y value of three. And again, I'm gonna draw this horizontal line. I'm basically just looking for where the blue curve touches this y value of three, this horizontal line of three. And it looks like right here. If you plug in an x value of negative three, you do get a y value of positive three. So this is, this is the point, minus three comma three. 
Or in other words, if we plug negative 3 into the function, you get back a y value of 3. So negative 3 is our solution, though it looks to be the only solution in this case. Because if you plug in negative 5, you get a y value of minus or a positive 2. If you plug in negative 1, you get a y value of positive 1. And obviously it's not that one because negative 3 worked. So let's keep going on these. But ultimately, the theme of this question type is that you're given the y value and you need to figure out the x value. And it looks like this is the same graph as the one above. It's just a slightly different worded question, so you might see it this way. But basically, we are given that the function or the y value is positive 3, and we need to find the x value. So we go to a y value of 3, we figure out where that crosses this blue curve here, and it's this point right here, and then you just figure out what that x value is. So in this case, negative 3, but like I mentioned, we found this out in the problem above. So when you plug in negative 3 into your function, it spits out an output value or a y value of positive 3. We'll do one final question here, and in this one we need to find all input values for which g of x is 4. So you can see that y and the function are interchangeable. So we're given that y or g of x is 4. So that's what we are given. And what we need to find is the x value that when you plug it into this function, you do get a function value of 4. So we need to find x in this case. And so y is 4, so we'll go to a y value of 4. And I'm going to draw that dashed line all the way across. So every point on this dashed line has a y value of 4. And we're just looking for where it intersects that blue curve. So this whole line is y equals 4. And at the blue curve, it looks like it crosses right here. And that looks to be an x value of 9. So when you plug in 9 into the function, it gives you a y value of positive 4. And that looks to be the only value for which this is true. So we can go to our answers. The negative ones don't work because they don't reach a high enough y value. So not those. And x equals 9 did work, so it's not none of the above.